Hi, this is the fourth presentation of the fifth week of the ISTF Chapter Funding Workshop. Here we are covering monitoring and evaluation. So monitoring then is the systemic collection of information on your project. It's how we keep track of progress and you track where your indicators are moving for your different objectives and outcomes against the baseline milestones towards achieving the targets. And monitoring provides the data needed for prog pro project evaluation. So what is evaluation then if that is monitoring? Well, evaluation is a method methodical review of the progress in achieving the objectives of a project. It's a system systematic objective assessment of a project in process or at completion. And it should be directed to five main topics. The relevance of a project, if it was effective, if your project made effective, efficient use of resources, what kind of impact the project had on the problem that was stated, and are those benefits sustainable? So why do we want to monitor and evaluate progress? Well, we want to learn from experiences to improve. We also want to have internal and external accountability on the use of resources and the results obtained. And monitoring and evaluation help us to take informed decisions on the future of a project or initiative. Now here is a cycle of evaluation as put forward by the Centers for Disease Control. An evaluation would start with engaging stakeholders, laying out the evaluation program, and then developing the design of the evaluation, then using that design to gather credible evidence, and good evidence helps us justify the conclusions drawn from an evaluation, and then from there going to sharing and using the lessons learned. There are several types of evaluation. There are pre-project evaluation. Well, one of the type is a needs assessment for an, a project. Another type is the evaluation carried out by a proposed by a funder on a proposal itself. Then there are formative evaluations, which is how is the project being implemented? So a formative evaluation is carried out at some midpoint on the project. It's not somewhere in the middle between the beginning and the end to see how it's going and to make any course corrections. Then there is the summative or final evaluation of where the project has ended up at completion. And that may focus on project effectiveness and the costs. So who should do an evaluation? Well, it might be someone inside a project or outside of a project, external. And there are pros and cons for both kinds of people. Uh, pros for someone on the inside, they might be more knowledgeable about programs, familiar and less threatening to the staff and less costly. However, they may be less objective. They may have so much to do, they don't have enough time to do a good job on the evaluation and they may be inadequately trained. Now, someone external to the project could be more objective, more focused on carrying out the objective and have more expertise, but they might be more expensive and less familiar with the program staff and organization. So here are five principles we'd like to see adhered to in evaluations from the US National Science Foundation. Evaluations should be relevant to the program and useful. They should be of high quality and rigor. They should be independent of not be subjective and be objective. Evaluation be transparent about what the process was that was carried out and the results, they should be reproducible. And evaluation should adhere to high standards of ethics. From the OECD, here are some evaluation criteria that they consider for projects they deal with. One is relevance. Is the project doing the right thing? You might, these are things you would want to check in doing an evaluation. Coherence. How well does the project fit in its context in the region, 
and how does it interact with other projects in the area? Effectiveness, is the project achieving its objectives? Efficiency, how well are resources being used in an economic and timely way? And sustainable, will the benefits last? Some issues to consider in preparing an evaluation plan include, you need to strike a balance between the number and complexity of the evaluation questions and the limited time and funding available. There's always constraints on what you can do. You need to be flexible. You need to be ready for problems that you hadn't seen beforehand and opportunities that you might not even have thought about in the middle about another thing that could be a great thing to check out. You need adequate time to carry out the evaluation plan to develop it and carry it out. And stakeholders need to be involved in developing the plan so that it will be realistic and useful to them. So here are some critical questions for um, considering when you develop an evaluation plan. What exactly are you, are you evaluating? What aspects of the pr program are you evaluating? What is the purpose of the evaluation? Why are, why are you conducting it? Who will use the data? Who will use the evaluation? How will they use it? What are the questions to answer in the evaluation? What information do I need to answer those questions? How will I collect that data? How will that data be analyzed? And what is the timeline for implementing the evaluation? Here are some further thoughts on evaluations. What does the project want to achieve? What are the smart objectives that you're really trying to get at in the evaluation progress towards those? How will you measure project? What data for a particular project can you collect on its activities, outputs, and outcomes? Qualitative data uh, is very useful and survey tools help with that such as electronic ones, such as Google Forms or SurveyMonkey, or on paper surveys, such as pre-post surveys on attitudes before and after a workshop to see if people have shifted their perception on the topic. You can collect lots of types of quantitative data, numbers of workshops, people participating, how, much tree, how many trees have been planted, just any plethora of things, number of meals delivered, how many people are using one resource or another? And then the question though is how to get from outputs of activities to outcomes. And outcomes are usually about measuring change in an indicator. You wanna know what change has taken place in, a, in behavior, in a process, maybe change in land cover and uh, tree cover. So here then when you get to thinking about all those things that you wanna consider in developing an evaluation plan, here are the components of an evaluation plan itself that you want to put forward. First, you wanna describe the project to be evaluated, its strategies, activities, outputs, outcomes. You wanna give background to the project. What's the context for it? What is the history of that kind of effort in that area? And what is the current project status? And these, these elements will help to understand the project performance and what, there, what constraints or advantages there might have been. Then if there are hypotheses that were developed or used in constructing the project, a theory of change or a logic model, those should also be considered in the evaluation. Then also put forward the purpose of the evaluation, the audience it's directed to, and how the evaluation will be used in decision-making by the stakeholders. Okay, so then considering how questions should be constructed for an evaluation, they should be the questions that will be asked in the evaluation or be that the questions for which you're trying to get the data to answer. These questions should be aligned with the evaluation's purpose and expected use. They should be developed with input from the stakeholders and then limited to one to five key questions given these budget and time constraints we've talked about. Questions that you're working to get answers to should be precise and measurable. They shouldn't be vague. Then 
you need to look at the methodological protocol and describe that for data collection. And you wanna get high quality data resulting in credible evidence. You need to describe the team, their expertise to do the job of evaluating. And then discuss any scheduling, con scheduling constraints and logistics for how you will have to carry out the evaluation. Describe the deliverables, the reports you expect to deliver and when, and give the time frame for the evaluation and the budget available to support the tasks of the evaluation. So the USAID, just an example of what an evaluation report might look like at the end, what you'll turn back to an agency or a funder, uh, maybe a short abstract, followed by a longer executive summary that pithily gives the main results of the, of the evaluation, then a longer section including the evaluation purpose and the questions asked, the background for the evaluation in relation to the project, the methods that were used, limitations of those methods, then the findings, conclusions, and limitations to interpretation, and then some aspect of quality control on reporting. So here are references that uh, on evaluation, and there will be more available with the presentation. And then for your homework, I'd like you to describe the, or develop the evaluation section for your proposal using guidelines if they're available from one of the funding sources that you selected. And this is to be able to assess the pro what your project achieves. So an evaluation plan helps you assess what your project will achieve at the end. Thank you. And we'll see you in the next presentation.